Wilson again gets out of bounds at the Texas A&M 40-yard line. Working against Watts, and he again is going to give him that outside move. Watts has fallen for that a couple of times. You start making plays in big moments and big games, your confidence is skyrocketing. You kind of drop into the zone and say, nobody can guard me. Well, some absolutely ridiculous plays from Caleb Wilson, the UCLA tight end, and those are some of the reasons why he is considered by a pro football focus the top-ranked player returning from Power 5 schools. Caleb, I know you've heard that a couple times uh, over the last couple weeks or so. What does it mean to you? Because that's a, that's a pretty significant title to have. Oh, it's definitely an honor. I mean, it's definitely cool and appreciative to have accolades and things like that, but that's part of the past. I'm, I'm excited about this year and excited about the new things we can do as a team and new things that I can do for my team. All right, so you, you play five games last year. You suffer the, the injury, and I think some people might be surprised by that title that Pro Football Focus gave you because you didn't play a ton last year because right. you were hurt. You are 100% healthy right now. Explain to me some of those tough moments that you had in terms of the rehab. Oh, the toughest part is really, is really truly mentally, just watching your team not being out there, but it was a long process with long recovery for me. I, I was on a scooter for about two and a half months. I had a second surgery to remove the pins from my foot. So it was a, it was a long process, but I have a great trainer and Steve, Steve AG, and we, was, we rehab back and I'm, I'm actually faster than I was before I got hurt. I'm stronger than before when I got hurt. So I had a great staff here at UCLA to help me get back. So it was some ups and downs, but I'm glad to be where I am now and back with my team. All right, how much of a different appreciation do you have? Because you said you were on a scooter, you were watching some of those guys right. be able to practice and play games. Now that you're back in the fold, what's it like in terms of your appreciation level for football? Oh, it definitely makes you more appreciative for everything, even like the hard conditioning days, the hard practices, the tackling drills, like every single thing. Every time stuff gets hard, I just think to myself like, man, I remember when I couldn't walk at first. I remember when I was in the yellow jersey. I remember when I was in the weight room lifting when everybody else was practicing. So right now I'm just appreciative of every moment, every snap, every drill that I get to do with my team. So it definitely changes your perspective. All right, a year ago you had arguably the best quarterback in the country throwing balls to you in Josh Rosen. I know you'll nod your head because he is pretty <laughs> nasty and obviously now a Sunday player. A lot of question marks around this quarterback spot this upcoming season. I'm not going to ask you to tell me who's going to be starting. What I am going to ask you though is take me through the guys that are competing and what they're doing well. Uh, we, I mean, really all five of the guys are very talented. You got Wilson, uh, the Michigan uh, grad transfer. He came in and he brought an aspect of leadership and he brought an aspect of a, of a player who's played in a lot of games and won a lot of games. And then you have a, guy, a young, talented guy in Dorian Thompson who is, one of, who is an excellent arm, very talented, can really make a lot of plays on his feet and with his arms. So he is an extremely bright future. He came in, brought a lot of energy. You have Devon, who's consistent in everything he does. He's getting better every single day. He's picking up his leadership. You got Matt Lynch, who's who's seemingly getting better every single day. You can see it. He's getting more relaxed, more comfortable. And then you got Austin Burden, who can make all the throws. So we really have a really talented group. So I'm, camp is very competitive as far as that group goes. And so we're, I'm just excited to see who will be throwing the passes on Saturday. So, but I'll catch them for anybody. <laughs> all right, I lied to you. I am going to ask you. you. You just gave me a great analysis on the guys that are competing. Who will be starting in week one? Oh, I can't tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, though? I didn't realize. The, the, okay. That's, all right. That's a Coach Kelly decision. I, right. I, I'm, I'm just catching the ball. And look, I got to spend some time with Coach Kelly in Los Angeles for media day. I don't want to get on his bad side. So I'm mm -hmm. going to avoid this quarterback conversation. With him. <laughs> I don't want to get you in trouble. Uh, it, it's funny. You mentioned Chip. Uh, Nick Aliotti, uh, one of our colleagues here at Pac-12 Network, mm -hmm. was Chip's DC at Oregon. He always tells these stories about the pace of practice and how difficult it was when Chip took over for his defense to practice right. and prepare. What's it like as an offensive player right now with that pace and speed? It's definitely different coming from like the last two seasons. We were a huddle team. We were getting in the huddle. And we did some fast-paced stuff, but then now my first day was the toughest because I had I've seen it on film, I've seen it from a distance, but I never really realized like how fast it really went. And then like I remember like the other day we had we had got a certain amount of plays so fast that we 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 got an extra break for the day just because like we had got our plays done in that for that period so fast. So it's just like as soon as your play is done, you're looking back for a signal. You're looking where you got to go. You're running to your spot. So it's definitely fast. It's definitely fast. But I'm enjoying it, and it's, I'm getting better at it, and our, our team's getting better at it. So I'm excited. 
All right, Caleb, I know you are a competitor. There's a reason why you're having success right now at UCLA. I am a competitor, but very different uh, than you for a lot of reasons. But Ashley Adamson is our, our other host here at Pac-12 Network. And I know you actually watch Pac-12 Playlist, which we appreciate. But she had Cedric Ware on the other day. You retweeted the video. Now, Cedric plays at SC. You started your mm -hmm. career there. You guys are, are former roommates, so you're tight here. you got to right. be able to help me out. Can we, can we do something that could potentially top their interview? Um, I don't know. Like some of some of Cedric's moves. Like if you ask him, I taught him some of his moves. Like okay. Okay. just just from being roommates. Like he he learned some things from me, but he has, he has a little more control of his body than I do. He's a little more fit, so he might have a slight edge on the dance battle. All right, but you you taught him stuff. So really, Ashley's interview was only entertaining because of you. Pretty much, like okay. you can ask said, like if you ask him, no, I, I taught him everything he okay. knows. And the fact that I'm asking you that question also means that we now know about that, so I'm getting credit for that. Just wanted to make sure that <laughs> UCLA and our interview was better than what Ash did with the SC guys. Just throwing That's that out there. About. That's uh, what I'm talking about. Yes, Caleb, you are a, a rock star. We cannot wait to see you in week number one, and more importantly, stay healthy this season. We cannot wait to see the production. <laughs> make uh, Pro you. Football Focus uh, very smart guys this season. Thank you very much. I appreciate that.